So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video and episode 2 of 0 to 3 million in 7 days. So we've got quite a lot to do today because of course... We're sitting quite uh, low on coins for uh, to be on the top, you know, to be on the way. But uh, as I say, today we're going to be grinding a lot of shadow trading, which is, in my opinion, one of the big, big money makers. So without further ado, uh, let's crack into it. I guess we'll give you a little summary of the account. Still in 108k, got loads and loads of silver selling on, so I'd, uh, I'd back us getting relatively close to 200k right now. So we're going to be doing shadow trading, and shadow trading is when you trade with special cards with shadow, but you try and buy them cheaper than what they are without a shadow. So yeah, because the idea is obviously a shadow right now worth 25k and players are normally going to have higher value with a shadow so you can get them for cheaper than they are without a shadow. You're going to be making some good money. Now how do you find the deals? You find the deals by throwing in this filter right here and working, well basically working with it. So you go 9k minimum bid, you normally throw a maximum bid of 13k, a minimum buy now of 11k and then you're going to go and search. Now what you need for this method to work, you're going to be using a mechanical compare price back out. This mechanic only works if there are one or less cards over an hour. So you need to get rid of every card over an hour. So the first thing you're going to do to get rid of cards over an hour is you're going to look at the UCL cards. You're going to remove all these UCL cards by increasing the minimum bin so that there is either one or like none. Uh, now I'm going to go and increase it right now to I think 14.250. I think that should get rid of all but one UCL card. Let's have a little look. So I say with this mechanic, again, because you're going to be using a mechanical compare price back out that only works if there is one over an hour, one or less. So there are two UCL cards. We've got that one, so we're not really going to increase the minimum by now to 21k because that's a little bit overkill. We're going to go increase it to 15,750. So now we're going to have no UCL cards. So now I need to get rid of every other card. Now how do you get rid of every other card that's over an hour? You decrease the maximum bid. So you've got to scroll through these right here and see what the common maximum bid is. Seems to be about 17, uh, sorry, 11.50. So we're going to go and lower this down to 11.250. And we're going to see, okay, is this going to give me a filter that has less than one card over an hour? So we've got one card there. We've got another card there. We're going to have to lower it to 11k, and then it should work. There we go. Now we've lowered it to 11k. There should be one or less card over an hour. There you go. Less cards over an hour. And now, if I press compare price back out, what will happen is, if by magic new cards will pop up on the market because what this does is this refreshes the market and there you go and therefore every new card that pops up i can go and see and then i can see if it's a deal this when we get to part two how do you know if it's a deal so what you're going to do is you're going to head over to footbin you're going to go and type the player's name in cooler barley and you're going to go okay well cooler barley without a shadow sells for 57 so if i could go and get it for like 52 or below that probably would be a good buy now, a lot of the time when you're doing this, you are going to miss the players, which is normally why it takes, I would say, an average of like three days to learn a lot of their prices. Um, because, of course, when you're checking price, if someone else knew that was a deal, they're going to be on it instantly and you can't wait five seconds. So, you've, you know, I say, just kind of, kind of learn the market as such. But uh, I say, every single player you don't know, you check and go, okay, well, there's a Jesus here for 65. Let's have a little look at what Jesus is going for on the market. Jesus is going for, you can also look at hourly fluctuations. Jesus is going for about 65k. Okay then, so if I see him pop up in the future for 60k, that's probably going to be a buy. Dig me. And you do this over and over again, and of course, eventually you'll get to the point where maybe a Jesus will pop up for 50, and, you know, because I searched from earlier at 65, I know they sell 65, I buy him for 50, and then I go see, okay, what's he with a shadow? Oh, he's 70 of a shadow. Brilliant. So that is what we're going to do to start today off, and that's probably what we're going to be doing a lot of today, and even maybe tomorrow and the following. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll do a little bit of this, and show you guys any deals we managed to get. So we've already got a deal, and that was a 9 Golan at 31k. Now, sadly, that actually isn't a deal, and 9 Golan has just absolutely plummeted as of recently. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a uh, little concept called bait listing. Bait listing is basically where you list up a player to pop up under that filter, and what people do is they see that card and they think it's a deal. Like how I saw that 9 Golan and just instantly bought it because I thought it was a deal, you basically list up players so they pop up, uh, pop up under that filter. And it's a really, really good way of getting instant coins on cards that you miss snipe. And also, if you're not, if you're listing for one of the cheapest on the market, it also makes it nice and safe. So let me go and show you this right now, and hopefully, bait listing will work. So again, under that filter, you see all people will pop up with a minimum bid. So you need to leave that minimum bid, so then he pop um, pop up pops up under the filter. Now I'll probably list him for covering tax. Tax on this guy is going to be worth about 1.5k. So if I go to someone for 33k with an open bid, I bet he will sell instantly because again, he'll pop up under that shadow filter. Someone like me 
will buy that thinking it's a deal and it should sell instantly. On top of this, it's relatively safe to list him up at that price because one of the, he's one of the cheapest with Shadow Up. So even if he didn't sell instantly, he probably would still sell, with, sell within the hour. So if by magic, he will go and sell right now on a bait list. And there we go. So as I say, it pops up under the filter, someone sees it, and they just go and buy it out of kind of like, like what I did again. I didn't check the price, I just kind of bought it fast because I thought it was a really good deal. And that's what I've basically done there with the nine golems. So that's another concept you guys can do with shadow trading. Is if you do get a bad deal, you can bait list them. Uh, again, make sure to leave an open bid because people buy it thinking it's a good deal. So we got our first night. Nothing too crazy, but uh, again, we're just really learning the market right now. We've got a Skrinja at uh, 28k. You know what? No, we won't listen for a lazy buy, but... There you go, that should obviously, be, well, it's a 4k difference with a 1.5k tax and a 2.5k profit, but that's the first snipe. Back end of a shadow sniping. So we got ourselves a cheeky Nandez right here for 26k with a shadow. The cheapest Nandez on the market is 30k, so that's already a 3.5, let alone with a shadow. So let's have a little look at what Munshaw Nandez is going for with a shadow. Very, very, very nice. It's not one for 35. I think we'll crack a 35k on that. Um, and you can see why, you know, the there's going to be a snowball effect on this road to glory. We've gone from silver trading to now really flipping cards where we're making a... I mean, that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's a, what, 3.5? That's an 8.5 with a 1.5 tax. It's already making 7k profits. You know, you can see how this, as I say, snowball effect is going to happen. But there we go. There is a Nandez there. We're going to list him up for 35. Not too bad. On to the next deal. So he's got an absolutely cracking deal on a Vertonghen. So Vertonghen right there, we just kind of scoured him out. He's going for about 69 with a shadow, uh, about 65 base rate. We got ours for 50k. Uh, so yeah, an absolute cracking deal uh, off the get-go. So let's have a little look how much, uh, again, let's have a little scout again. So cheapest on the market is, oh, there's one there for 58. But other than that one for 58, they are about 65k. There's one there with a shadow of 69. I'm going to try and get a fast flip on him just so I can take the coins and uh, get that into their next card. Because, of course, we're not really seeing them on the highest budget uh, to be doing this method. So, we do want to get some relatively fast flips. But, obviously, 15k profit right there. 3k tax. 12k profit overall. And, again, really getting a, you know, getting a bit of a flow and a bit of motion to the uh, the trading and the shadow trading. And to the road to glory. But, there you go. Not bad. On to the next deal we managed to get. So, whilst we're waiting for our cards to go and sell on, we went and did another one of the advanced SBCs. That's six of the best. We're going to get a gold player pack in that. Uh, it went across us 4.4k, so not too bad. Uh, not the most interesting pack, but again, hopefully we get someone to do that advanced SBC that we were chasing yesterday. So looking like Brazilian, we're looking for those Argentinians. I don't believe that's anything too crazy, but again, we didn't really need anything too crazy. Can we get someone that can help us with the next SBC? Please. German's not all we need. Okay. Brazilians or Argentinians, that's the way. Brazilians ideal. We get Kennedy. Okay, Kennedy might be able to work in it. Uh, I mean, other than that, I'll tell you, Egypt isn't exactly right. I think maybe Kennedy? The only problem is you normally have Neres in the left wing, so that might make it a little bit awkward, and La Liga is quite an important nation. Uh, that might work for the generic SBC, but nonetheless, we're going to still profit a little bit off this pack. Uh, and, um, oh yeah, also fun, uh, fun fact. It's not really a fact as such, but we've also managed to go and sell on uh, the Vatongan, so that's already a nice 11k profit right there, a 12k profit. So we've got another deal, that is Ben Mee for 22. Uh, ben Mee's cheaper than the market right now, is 24, which is obviously pretty promising. So uh, Ben Mee is going for... Let's have a little look. Let's look at him without a shadow right now. As we got us for 20. Okay, there's one on the market for 20. 22. Please don't mug me off and have a shadow. Nice. Only, yeah, he's a very, very rare uh, inform, actually. 23. Yeah, super rare. Super, super rare. Ultra rare. Ultra mega rare. So the cheapest one with a shadow in is actually looking quite promising. Yeah, we're up to 27 and still no shadow on Ben Mee. Uh, I'm not quite sure if there's all demand on Ben Mee, but obviously bear in mind there's a lack of Premier League centre-backs at the moment. Okay, let's have a little look. Because what you can also do is you can see what the second cheapest on the market is and, and then have a little look and go... Okay, oh, Ben Mee has a 30k price range. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll list him up for 29.5 then. That could be a really, really nice return. Yeah, he's, that's probably why he's got none with a shadow, because he's just quite rare. So, also, that's a 7k difference with about a 1.5k tax and a 5.5k profit after tax. So, yeah, very happy with the Ben Me. Uh, back underway some more shadow trading. So, I got myself another really, really good deal. And uh, I was basically just checking a Laporte, because uh, one popped up. And then another one popped up for 62. Now, Laporte sells for 79k with a shadow. So, uh, yeah, that is obviously a 17k difference. With a 4k tax and a 13k profit, so very, very nice. Now, this doesn't leave us on too many coins, because, of course, we've got a few coins in special cards. I don't know if there's anything there. 
But uh, yeah, so as a result, I have a few coins and special cards. I'm going to see if we can use that Kennedy we got in the last SBC to now go and build the final one. I mean, one way or the other, we have some big, big packs going. But yeah, I'm going to see if we can go and do this SBC with the Kennedy we have, uh, which again will give us a 50k pack and a rare mega pack. So whilst we're waiting for cards to go and sell them, we've done the last of these SBCs, which is going to give us a 50k pack and a rare mega for doing all of them. And uh, you'll be able to see that we've actually managed to sell everyone else. We sold the Laporte and we sold the Nandez. So we've got a nice bit coins plus uh, 100 and... What was it? 110k's worth of packs. But there we go. There's the Laporte and the Nandez selling one. Don't believe we've got any specials. I think we've just got a few silvers, right? Oh, no, no, we do have. We've still got Ben Mee selling on. Brilliant. So, yeah, the account is probably sitting on close to 200k right now. So 200k plus whatever we get. We'll do the Rare Mega and then we'll do the 50 Let's see what we're going to get then. Are we going to get a Road to Glory carried by packs? Potentially. That is a board, so no, not at the moment. Brazil. Cam. Ooh, it's going to be uh, Oscar. Mm, not amazing. What is that? Oscar, Taliska. That's about it. Giuliano's now on 82. Ooh, player pick though. Uh, 82. Again, really nothing to scream and shout about right here. A few squad fitnesses. Not overly expensive position changes. Not amazing. Let's just send them to the discard right now. Send them to the Gulag. Uh, and then that's going to do that player pick. I don't even know if we could get anything good. Maybe get like a Mendy or something like that. 78, 80 rated. We get mm, nothing crazy. I know Josh King's normally worth 2k, so we'll go and pick Josh King right there. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, that's, I mean, it's not amazing. It's run of the mill. Alright, let's go and open that 50k pack and see if that can give us a, a little bit more coins to fuel our shadow trading. 50k pack says... In form? I don't know. No, it's just a gold. It have weird flares. Croatia, left mid. It's going to be Perisic. It have weird flares. Perisic isn't the worst in the world. It's about 5k minimum. Can we get a few other expensive players in that? We get 84 Dzeko. Very nice. 83 Ramsey. A few players right there. A matey boy right here. Gabriel's worth 1-6, I've just used him, but there you go, not too bad. Uh, we'll do is going to go and sell them on, and then we're going to crack underway with some shadow trading. So we got ourselves a delete here for 35 with a shadow. I think it's going rates about 38, uh, 40k of our shadow, so I think it should be a nice little save buy. But yeah, I did see him, uh, I checked his price earlier, and I remember I was quite surprised with just how cheap he was. Please don't pop up. Yes, okay. So delete does have a lot of alliter uh, alliterations of cards. But that's at least covered ta uh, tax covered, by the way. So anything uh, anything 38k and above is profit. Okay, uh, we're going to go and do a lazy list, uh, which again is where you just list the other player with an open bid, but you list them up for covering tax. Um, actually, no, no, no. I'll be able to profit on him. Uh, I'll probably list him on lazy bid of 38.5. What's that? That is a 3.5k difference, 2k tax, 1.5k profit. And we should be able to sell him, see him sell instantly because, again, someone should see that and probably think it's a good deal. Is that the case? Ooh. We kind of need it being the case. Kind of would like to have them coins fast. Oh, it doesn't seem to be the case. They seem to be toned up. So, no, no, it is the case. There you go. So, if someone didn't see anything as a deal. I say, the delay is given. The delay is down from, like, 60k. So, it does look like a really good deal if you're not too toned up the market, which is basically what I'm not. So we've got ourselves a deal, or quote-unquote deal with inverted commas. Uh, got a Vatongana, 72. We're going to send him for 79.5. That is a 7.5k difference uh, with, again, like a 4k tax. It's only a 3.5k profit. But again, we're just learning the market right now, so that's not too bad. It's also still left us with 70k because, of course, we're sitting on a relatively high uh, budget right now. Um, and there's the deal selling on. So, yeah, not too bad. I'll just show you guys the next shadow deal we managed to get. So, because we're not having too much luck with selling on the specials, we're probably going to go to Yield, Trusty, or Silver, Basic, uh, Legion, and find the cheapest on the market. Uh, sorry, no. And then just go and buy all the expensive ones, just because we're not having too much luck. Also, uh, the transfer list is running out of players there, and I don't really want to keep, keep on doing SBC. So we're going to do a little bit of that Silver method yesterday, where you basically go Silver, uh, pick a Major League, then go Basic Chem, so you then go find the highest buy now you can have with this filter. Um... And then you go and sit at the fifth and ninth minute, keep on comparing price, keep on pressing compare price back out, and then you buy any of the expensive silvers. Obviously, you do need a little bit of market knowledge to do this. You've got to know who are the expensive silvers. Uh, but if you go refer to the first video, there's actually a other silver method that can teach you uh, who are the, or you can use to learn who the expensive silvers are. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to sit on that fifth and ninth minute again. You can only have one player over an hour with the compare price back out. So, 
by the looks of things, it's going to be probably 500, but I'm going to have to go and buy a player, just so then there's only one over an hour. So, scroll to that fifth ninth minute right now. scooby dooby doo Oh, there are loads, oh, there's loads over an hour. Oh, gosh. All right, we'll go for 450. Okay, I might have to go and do the Bundesliga, because this isn't going to work, because you need there to be a difference between the cheapest and then the, like, second... You know, basically, you need there to be a difference between the cheapest going rate and then... Um, you know, the highest you can have without there being one player over an hour. So, we're not going to be able to do the league gun, sadly, right now. Uh, but that's good, though. You guys get a little example of knowing when a player won't work. Uh, okay, so the Bundesliga could work. Uh, I could just have to go and bid on the player for 700. What about 750? It's not bid, but what you'd do is you'd go and buy for 700 and listen for 700. You'd take, like, a 5% tax loss, but it just allows you to have a bit of a broader filter. And the broader the filter, the more cards are going to pop up and the more deals you can get. So, yeah. Um... Do you know what? I might go 750 and buy him, him, and him. I just released them all up for 750. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and then we'll go and show you guys any nice Bundesliga snipes we managed to make. So, we've got ourselves loads and loads of buys. Uh, I don't think there's anything too noticeable right here. I think this guy might be a little bit of coins, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's about 1.2k. Uh, and uh, other than that, it's nothing uh, nothing crazily notable. I think another 1.2k. I think they're all just a little bit expensive because of the SBCs. But, yeah, managed to get ourselves 29 deals there. Still no special selling on, so what I'll probably do is, I think we've got an advanced SBC to do, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, we can do the last of the advanced SBCs, that'll give us a rare mega pack and a election players pack, so I think that'd be quite an effective thing to do, so we'll get the silvers up and then we'll go and build this SBC. So we've gone and done that the last SBC in the set, I believe it's going to cost us about 2.4k, which uh, the election players pack is kind of irrelevant when we're going to go and get ourselves a rare mega pack. Can't, cat caught my tongue. Sorry. Let's see if we can get anyone again good here. We don't really want it to be an SBC Road to Glory, as in the Road to Glory is carried by SBCs. But nonetheless, I would, uh, I'd would take some coins. I've, I've gone straight for the good path. But uh, I would take some coins to help us uh, continue doing shadow trading and not having as many breaks. But this is neither going to be an SBC Road to Glory or a Shadow Road to Glory. And it's going to be a Nani Road to Glory. Oh, my... <laughs> 55k pack. Uh, we get Sacco, Bateglia, Vieira, Vida, Cajera. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, then get overly expensive position changes. Oh, we get a free pack. Oh, it's a loan pack. It is a loan pack, so what you'd love to say. Alright. Alright, here we go. Do you know what? Imagine if. Not the loan pad, but imagine if the Electrum Players pack gives us a more expensive player. You know, just imagine. Here we go. Let's see what we're going to get them. In the loan pack, we get literally no... I don't... I mean, we can check the Norwich badge, but... With the amount of packs that we opened at the moment... Yeah, you can't even get 200 coins for it. And here we go... I mean, we can still get an expensive silver in it, which again the game could generally make a 10k pack better than the 55k pack. Do we get anything good in it? Go on. Uh, I mean, Young Felix, my favourite streamer. This pack might have some players that are more expensive. It's like 1.4, but yeah, that is a absolutely tragic 55k pack. Nonetheless, though, we are going to crank back underway with some shadow trading. So, because we've got ourselves about half an hour before 6pm, um, I don't really want to be spending more coins. If anything, I want to be trying to grind up those coins. We want to ideally have 100 or maybe 100 and a bit ready for 6pm. So, what we're going to do is we are going to do a throwback marking matchups. I understand there's been a fair few SBCs today, but uh, as I say, I don't really want to be spending loads of money. Uh, and I want to be getting some, uh, you know, I just want to be letting stuff sell on right now so we have more coins for 6pm. But here's uh, here's what we're going to be rolling with. We'll do the marking matchups and show you guys the packs. So, we've got another marquee matchup number one. It goes and costs us... Wait, it costs us around about 4 to 5k for a prime election pack. That's actually really, really good. Six gold, six silvers, half being rare. We're sitting just above 70k. Uh, we've obviously got 20 minutes now until 6pm, so obviously. See if we get anything good, though. Uh, I can fuel a little bit of coins. That is at least a boards. That is a boards. It is Brazilian. A CDM... It's a 84 rated Lucas Lever. Okay, 84 rated Lucas Lever is probably going to be at least 4k, so it's a nice bit of funding. Do we have some other plebs? Nope. Uh, no expensive silvers. Lovely. Uh, we'll go and sell them on. That's a nice little profit of a few k uh, and underway the next marquee matchup. So we've gone and done another one of the marquee matchups. Again, this team would have cost no more than like 5, 6k. Uh, go and get a small rare gold players pack. Obviously, the six rare golds. 
Pretty nice. Sitting on 75k, so we've got about 8 minutes. Hopefully we do get a few more cells. Hopefully we also get a nice player in this pack. Uh, that can aid us to having a little bit more points at 6pm, so... That good player in the pack is not coming. Obviously, you're never going to get anyone good. UCL rare. Uh, I mean, we could still be an 83 rated, if I'm not wrong. No, it's Skirtzer. Skirtzer. Skirt uh, lovely. Anything else in there? No, nothing of value. We're going to go and sell them on, and the next thing you guys will see will be 6pm Rash Investum. So, we have got the best part of about 20 seconds now to 6pm hits. We actually managed to sell on a Waz, and we managed to sell on a Hooray Red, giving us a nice budget of 100k 6pm. Just keep me checking my time. You guys have 10 seconds to go. Uh, see, Saudi League, we're expecting a player SBC, which has already been leaked, uh, leaked and so on. But here we go, five, four, and we're also looking at objectives. Three, two, and one. And today's content for Monday is going to be uh, live. There is the player SBC. They've actually made him look interesting. Uh, De Gea, Premier League Challenge, we've already had that. Premier League in Diddy, Premier League Upgrade. Okay, so that's new. I'll be interested to see what that wants. Premier League kits, 82 plus. Okay. Uh, I also, we'll have a look at this and then we'll have a little look at what the thing is. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Rare golds then. Okay, so rare golds will do quite well. Okay, we'll look at rare golds if there's nothing else. Uh, I just want to look at this player again. Uh, see if he's interesting because apparently he's a centre mid. Yeah, okay. Okay, one team. Easy. One Argentina player. I uh, know it's a cheap team, but. How did Mardu these going to be is another question. So we'll look at rare... I mean, that is actually a mad card. Just extremely hard to link in. Uh, no. If we can look at objectives now, that'd be great. There we go. Objectives are going to be... Season objectives. Jimenez, Moments Perez, Romar. Okay. Interesting. Uh, scorer in three separate games using minimum difficulty using a Saudi player. Okay. Score two goals in two score battles while class using a minimum 85 pace. Uh, assist in three goals and rivals with four star skill moves player. And assist in rival wins using Brazil. Okay, so I don't think there's anything too crazy on that. It's a nice looking card, but I'm going to be going with the Prem Rare one. So I'm going to look at the formation. Obviously, it's very low chem in it, but I think there will be some money in that. Let's have a look at some Prem Rares now. So that's where I'm going to go for. So I think the formation was a 4 4 2. So I Oh, no. No, 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 no. Clicked on the wrong one. That's not new if I'm not wrong. Uh, we're going to head over to... Where is it? Four egg or prem. Okay. So let's have a look at some prem rares and just have a little look what we're looking at. Uh, League Premier. There you go. Version. Gold rares. And the formation is a 4-4. Ooh, CDMs might do well. Let's have a little look. Cheapest rares in the game. Cheapest rares will all be put in. Pulisic, Tielemans, uh, Gambi. Okay, this guy might do well. Ake. All right, I might look at picking up some Ake's then. Or oh, actually, Masaku. Hmm. Look at right backs quickly. Might go Ake's at the moment. Right backs. Uh, right wing backs. So they won't defaultly be used. All right, let's go and pick ourselves up some Ake's then. Uh, obviously, you don't need high chem in it, but I just think uh, people, what they'll do is they'll just go and find the cheaps in each position and then just go and throw them in. So let's have a little look at Ake then. And bear in mind, Ake is part of the cheapest 10, if I'm not wrong. I'd be surprised if he's not going to hit that, hit that cheap scenario. So, 1-2 for Ake. 1-3 mm. for Ake. Obviously, we are buying an inflated rate right now. Let's go. We'll go 1-3 at Ake. Or will we not? Nope, we might not go 1-3 for Ake. By looks things, we're not going 1-3 for Ake. <laughs> Alright, basically right now, I just need to go and... Um, I need to scope out... Okay. No, we will go 1-3 for Ake. Lovely. Uh, I just need to scope out what rare players I want to go and buy. Okay, well, let's ignore that then. Uh, I said underway with... We've got Masaku. We've got Bufal. We can go look at... I want to be looking at centre-backs, I think. I think they probably lack in rare centre-backs. Uh, let's jump onto Sako. S-K-H. Sako. S-A-K-H-O. There we go. We can go get ourselves Sako. And I believe... Hopefully it'll be a different story with Sako. 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One, Okay, we start buying Sacco's up to 1-3, I think. I think that's going to be the plan of action. There you go. Obviously, we should expect these players to be relatively well-demanded. Uh, you also do get yourself four red golds each time, so it means people are just going to obviously buy seven uh, apiece. There you go, but we're just going to pick up a Sacco. So you don't really need Kem, but um, but yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. As I said, say we might even look at... Um, I don't know if we will invest in any of the Sound League players, cause, but they will probably give them upgrades just like the EFL, so... 
That'd be quite quite nice, but there we go. I think what we'll do is we'll go all in on rare centre backs, one three, and then we'll show you guys how they do. Right. So I got myself two deals, two pretty decent deals. Well, we got Talisa at twelve fifty and a match reader at thirty nine. So let's have a little look at what those are uh, going for right now. I think that Talisa at twelve fifty is, I think a bit, a bit of a banger. I don't know. Let's have a little look. So Talisa at twelve fifty. Talisa sells for. Okay, no, it's a quick sell for fifteen with a shadow. So. Probably could get, what, 17 for him if I'm in no mad hurry. No, 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 17's overkill. Uh, we'll go 16. Um, I mean, as a result, 16, 12, 50, that is, what, a 3.5k difference or something like that? Yeah, I mean, that's a 3.5k difference. Tax of that is like, what, 800 or something like Uh, Yeah, 800. So 2.7k profit after tax, if I'm not wrong. Not bad. And we've got the second deal, which is a Blades Match Reedy for 39.5 with Shadow. Again, I'd be honest with you, I didn't really know what Match Reedy's price was. I just thought... That looks quite cheap. Let's hope it's a good deal. Uh, so let's have a little look at what Blaze Machuidi is going for with a shadow. Thank the Lord, that's not the one I'm looking for. So we're looking for his moment. Please don't be his moment. Oh, that card's just been listed though. Okay, so apart from that one, uh, not too promising. Um, I'll probably try and go for a quick 44k flip for him. Um, and just take 2k profit on like a quick flip. So again, or a bait list. And the bait list is again... When you listen with an open bid, uh, and then you do this, and then the idea is it'll pop up on that shadow filter. Someone thinks it's a deal, and they'll go and buy it. But yeah, not amazing, but still nonetheless a 2.5k, which hopefully I'll be able to get the coins back and get back underway shadow trading. Not a crazy buy, but we got ourselves a Tank Lafico for 11. That card's going to get flipped for 14, um, which as a result means uh, 11.50 even. Ooh, not as good as I thought it'd be. Uh, but yeah, this card's going to get flipped for 14, obviously. 2.5k difference, 700 coins hacks, uh, 1.8k after, pro after profit after tax. Not amazing, but uh, hey hey, it's a little bit of profit in the end of the day. So I got myself another buy, that is a better nap for 37. Uh, he's actually cheapest on the market, is 40k without a shadow, so should be good. Obviously I'm not leaving myself a mad amount of coins as well, but we'll do a little bit of silver trading I think while, uh, while we're waiting. Uh, let's see, no more electron packs were supplied today, so that's obviously good. So 40, nice, 42, nice, 45, beautiful. Uh, so we'll go probably just sub 44, um, obviously that makes a 6.750 before tax, if I'm not wrong. There you go, just below 44, so there we go, so, oh no, there we go. So that is a 6.750, uh, tax of about 2.2, 2, so 6.750, is about a 4.5k 4 profit on the likes of, um, Burnout, which isn't too bad. Uh, obviously, we're sitting a little bit low on coins, so I think what we'll do is I'm actually going to use a little method I have and actually done the uh, Yeah, I'm the Glory. And that is basically having market knowledge uh, of all silvers. So, uh, because I basically have done silver trading quite a lot this year, I have pretty good market knowledge when it comes to what you can buy and sell silvers for. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a list of expensive silvers, which is actually part of the subscriber trading guide. And I'm going to be going through these silvers one by one by one and trying to find good deals. A very easy way of doing this is just seeing, okay, what's the second cheapest silver from the market? So, for example, we just got that striker there at 1.4, and I mean, that is a perfect example because the second cheapest on the market is 2.8. And I say, what I'll do is I'll go for this list of silvers one by one by one and just see if I've got anyone, uh, any good deals. As I say, I don't even really need to use the prices on it. I do do buy and sell prices for the subscriber trading guide, but I don't really need to use them because I can just go, okay, well, what's the cheapest on the market? Okay, what's the second cheapest? Okay, what's what's the difference between them? Let's say this one's 1.5. Second cheapest on the market? No, 2 1. Not really going to be a buy. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to go through players one by one by one. And uh, I guess we'll go and show you guys the highlights of the deals. And then we'll crack back underway shadow trading once that's all done. So we're going to give you guys a little update about four hours later from the last one. Uh, it's about 11pm tonight. But uh, I want to do more on the Road to Glory because I'm not really happy how, um, how we're at. So I made myself some, some Nando's chicken. So what we're going to do is for the next part of like an hour. Uh, probably just going to smash out a bit of shadow trading and uh, see what we can get. So... Yeah, we're on this road to glory, just just because I say I want to put a few more hours in, so nowhere near where I want to be. The account isn't looking too bad, given. Uh, obviously, we've got a few things selling on right there. We've got the Tongan, that obviously takes us to the best part of 250k. Uh, then we've got a bunch of expensive silvers, obviously, well, in my opinion, taking me over 300k, because uh, there's a few expensive ones right there. So, we're sitting over 300, but 300 for two episodes is not a good one whatsoever. Uh, and it would literally mean, yeah, the area yeah, doesn't average out amazingly. So because I want to give myself more coins to do shadow trading tomorrow, I'm going to spend the next hour and we'll show you guys what deals we managed to get. Also, I guess we'll show you what's sold on. So, obviously the Sonya Shoes sold on. Uh, Benar we got for 36, I believe. Talisa got for 12.5. 
Toka Fico got for 11, Lala got for 26, uh, and Ben Mee we got for 22, so not too bad whatsoever. So we've been doing a little bit of buying and selling. Uh, here's a Mendy again, we missed bought for 55k sadly, um, but there we go. I also missed bought two other special cards. No light loss in it, but then no gain and me not having those coins. Uh, but it's not the end world. There you go, there's the other two, Klosterman and Ace Induced. But uh, yeah, we've been picking up a few silvers nonetheless. All of the silvers you see right here, literally picked them up in about 5-10 minutes. Just going to have them all sitting there selling on for lazy buyers. Again, got this guy for like 450. So it's nothing crazy, but what is it? again, it's always a nice slow burner. So we'll do back under a little bit more shadow training. Probably another like 20-30 minutes in it, then we'll call it a day for training. So two more special card pickups. I'd say we're having quite good luck uh, off stream and uh, late in the evening. But just going to show you what we've got right there. We've got ourselves a Fabinho for 50, sorry, for 42k. Uh, with a shadow, which is pretty good. Just a little bit of searching on him. He's at least 47, I think, without a shadow. Uh, there we go. Ooh, 50, 45. Sorry, uh, 47 without a shadow. So, yeah, what I do, obviously, uh, a lot of these cards are going to get listed up overnight. So there isn't really any hurry to sell it for the cheapest price because, as I said, it'll be listed up for a 12-hour kind of like cycle as such. Uh, so we're going down for 48. It's not amazing. It's 6K, 6K 215K tax, 3.5K profit after tax. So nothing too crazy. Uh, they've got Sansone at 15. Uh, I believe that was a really decent pickup. He said. No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that listed up for like 18 overnight. Uh, and as a result, make like, what, 2.1k from it. But yeah, it's a bit, a bit disappointing. Um, it, it's, it's a weird one because never have we been at a point where shadows have been so far away from the price of. Um, sorry, shadows have been so much. You know, they're like, what, 18k or something like that nowadays? Which is crazy, but on the contrary, uh, people aren't using Fabinho right now. Obviously, they're using these brand new Pat 14 this season. So there isn't much demand for Fabinho, which means there isn't much of a price discrepancy between uh, them without a shadow and then with a shadow. But there you go, there's the Fabinho again. We get that for 12 hours, list that open overnight. Uh, and then we've got ourselves the uh, Sunstone, who'll get for 18. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, 4k difference, uh, 900 coins tax, so 3.1k after tax. Shouldn't be too hard to sell on, leaving us with 25k. So. What I think we'll do is, I think we'll wrap it up as a video, uh, and I'll just go and buy a few silvers um, this evening, just go and spend the last 25k, but thank you very much for watching episode 2, hopefully it's done a clutch it up at the end there, hopefully getting to about 30, you know, 320, 330, maybe even 350 by tomorrow morning, obviously still under par, but the more coins I have, the more active I can be on shadow trading, because obviously at the moment, all it takes me to do is buy about 4 or 5 cards, coins all gone, have to then rely on silvers, so obviously episode, hopefully tomorrow of episode 3, you know, we've obviously got a bigger, I guess, liquid, bigger kitty to trade with. So we'll be able to consistently be doing shadow trading rather than shadow trading. Stop doing a little bit of silvers or an SBC shadow trading. Hopefully it'll be a non-stop shadow trading. And the benefit of that on top of not only actively trading, but you consistently looking at these prices. You're going to keep that in the system, keep learning the prices, uh, which should be good. But thank you very much for watching day two. As I'm quite happy I would do it. I mean, day two for a Rose Glory in 300, 320 to 350. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know, we're getting close to... Um, God, okay, guys, a good amount, you know, good, good amount to made. But there you go, day two, 350k. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode.